Okay, so I have just quickly looked through that footage and realized that the the camera is blurry. Luckily, I hadn't even finished the video, but obviously that means all that footage is now going to be blurry. So just prepare that the next few minutes are going to be blurry, but everything after that will be back to normal. Sorry. Right, am I in the middle? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name's Ellie. Today I am going to be doing a very exciting video for me. Anyway, maybe not so exciting for you, but it's very exciting for me. So basically, you've probably already seen by the title, I got myself a new camera. So yeah, I've been doing YouTube for three years now and I never bought um, myself a camera because I spend a lot of money on YouTube on making videos anyway, um, and cameras are expensive. And I prom I just said to myself, I'm gonna wait until I've had my very first YouTube payment, and then I will go out and venture and buy myself a new camera. So I had my very first payment last month from YouTube, but even then, YouTube is a very complicated game and it's not guaranteed that I'm going to get money every single month. It's not guaranteed that I'm going to get the same amount of money every single month. It is, it's just really complicated. I don't even understand it myself. I'm still learning as I'm going. But basically, I bought myself a new camera and I'm really, really excited to use it. So, um, I actually opened it at the parcels already. I ordered them on Amazon um, because I wasn't sure what's inside because of, um, I ordered so much stuff off Amazon. Um, but the first thing I got is this gorilla pod stand i don't remember what the prices are but i'll link everything down below um so if you do decide you want to go and get them you can go and get them yourself in some of my videos i do carry my camera around and this is really good for that if you can see on the um on the box here you can tie it to things like that you can stand it up um, you can carry it. There's just, it's just so versatile that I think that this is a good one. And also, this is a really popular stand that everybody uses. Okay. So it's actually smaller than I thought it would be when um, I ordered it, but it's probably perfect for what I need it for. The little legs are quite skinny, but they feel really strong and secure. Oh, this is so fun. So yeah, you could like do it however you want. I could put it on my arm if I really wanted to. Um, and then it comes with a little, one of these. I honestly don't know how to use this. I really don't know much about cameras. Let's just put that out there. I don't know much about cameras. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just put this to one side for a minute. I use this, got this. I also got myself an SD card this is the SanDisk 64 gigabyte ones. We don't want to be running out of any film footage. We don't want to be running out of any space so that I can um, just film like a whole video or a couple of videos and have a couple on the go. But the bit we're all waiting for really, we don't really care about that kind of stuff, is my camera. Let's open it up. I can't believe I've actually got one. I just can't believe it. So. Uh. So this is the Canon, 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 <laughs> Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Um, I chose this camera because I was doing a bit of research on YouTube, seeing what sort of vlogging cameras and like normal cameras everybody was using. And this one seemed to be one of the most popular ones, if not the pop most popular one, um, for like beginners, for their very first good camera. It is a it's not cheap, but it's not super, super, super expensive. But like I said, I don't know a hell of a lot about cameras. I literally just was on YouTube watching loads of reviews um, and just seeing, and I thought, yeah, that's what, that's what I want. So let's open this up. What is, this is a little a whole booklet of information. So I assume, I'm just gonna put that down here. I assume this is the charger. charger cable the actual product itself let's just put that to one side for a minute we've got this little oh this is a strap we need this so if i'm out and about i can put the strap on 
and I'm not gonna drop the camera because that is very me. That is something I would do. We have a battery pack. I don't know if this comes, if this is a spare battery pack or store the battery in plastic bag to prevent short circuiting that might occur if it touches metal objects. Did you know that? Let's put that back then. And then we've got the battery charger. So I assume when it runs out of battery, you take it out, you pop it in like that, nice and easy. And if, you know, if I can figure out how to work this camera, anyone can, because I'm really not technical at all. No, I'm not. Right. Okay, battery. So it comes with the whole battery, little arm thing. And then obviously I bought my thing. <laughs> wow, really informative video. Okay, it's the bit that we all are waiting for. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've never, ever owned a good camera, ever. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Right, the main reason I got this camera is because, um, like I said, I'm using my phone. And usually, um, I started off using the phone, the camera side, so that I could see myself on the screen. But I realised I was very much looking at myself all the time and the quality wasn't as good. So I've switched it around I'm using the back camera. So I can see myself currently now. Um, in my videos, I'm often looking here, which is a mirror so that I can see that I'm in the screen. Um, but basically, I wanted to get a viewfinder. So I basically... Got one of those. I'm so excited for this. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to not looking at myself at the top, but I'm gonna really, really try not to. Right, open. Okay, yes, yeah, so I need to put the battery in. I don't know if the battery's charged, so let's hope it is. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go and charge it and then come back. Oh, I really don't know how to use this. Right, that's how it goes in. And it doesn't come with a memory card either, so luckily I bought one. So it goes that way, it's got a little picture so I can see the way it goes in. Right, that was easy enough. <laughs> Lock. I don't know what that bit is then. I'll have to have a look in a minute. So that is how that goes on. That feels nice and secure. Let's turn it on. <gasps> okay, set the date and time. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna do that later, skip. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so when I'm moving it around, it's sort of like out of focus and then you stop and it focuses. And then I flip the screen up. Look a bit blurry. Oh, wow. Okay, so I need to not look at the screen. I'm obviously going to be looking at the screen for a moment. Um, so, yeah, it kind of like is like blurry, 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 and then I stop and it kind of like focuses. And what it does is it kind of blurs out the background as well. So, um, it focuses on me and then the rest is blurry which i like i think that's a setting on there auto i do not know anything about this camera so you know it's one of these things that i'm gonna have to fiddle with but yeah let's should i take a picture maybe oh i'm not even filming oh that's lovely that was a lovely photo <laughs> Oh, it's touch screen, it's touch screen. So you can zoom in, you know, you can zoom in like that. It's saying I've got very low battery, right. I mean, so the camera is really good. The quality is so good. Let's, how do I turn on for filming? Okay, film. Is it this one? Oh no. 
I don't know what this means. The zero, the, this ring around it, the one, two, three, three plus four. It's so complicated for me. Right, we're on video. Nope. Change, charge the battery. Right. I am gonna go and charge the battery. Um, and I'm just gonna try and figure out what these little buttons and everything do. Um, and then I can maybe explain a little bit on the video. Um, but yeah, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I have just had to put the camera, um, the new battery on charge. And I've just looked through the footage really quickly and realized that it's very blurry. That's really annoying. Okay, I am back and hopefully the footage is not blurry anymore. That was really annoying. Um, so yeah, I've just had it on charge for about half an hour. Um, hopefully that'll be enough just to sort of show you the camera. I just want to show you the difference in the quality from what I've got now to a new one. Right, let's turn it on. So I was reading the manual that it comes with and it just says turn the camera on and enter auto mode, which is what it's already at. Um, I'm gonna again, skip the date and time. This button here at the top, I learned that that's for zooming in. Yes. And that button here is the record button. So I'm gonna put it up like this. Hello. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna try and compare the two different, um, try and compare the two different screens so you can see the difference in the quality. Let's find my strap again. Not my strap. Um, Gorilla Pod. Let's just pause this. This is currently my little setup. I use this little ring light situation which has got a, um, like a phone holder and, um, yeah, I don't even plug the ring, the ring light in. I just literally, um, use natural light. And sorry, there's so much going on. I don't know which camera to look at. Um, let's just put this down here like this. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't know where how I'm gonna set this up because it does need to be a little bit higher, maybe up here. Hi everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting so excited. Um, but yeah, that's literally the difference in the quality of the camera. That is crazy. Um, let's pause this. Oh. Does that stop it? Another th reason why I got this was because this camera actually has Wi-Fi, so I could take a photo on it um, and I could send it right to my phone, which means I can upload it straight to Instagram or um, Facebook or whatever. So it's really handy because it's such a good camera. If I ever go anywhere that I really wanna take um, some um, really nice pictures or footage, then I don't have to worry about then going all the way home, plugging my laptop in, um, getting all the footage, sorting through it all, and then uploading it onto my phone or emailing it back and forward or whatever process I had to do. It is a really, really quick and easy way of doing it. I don't know how to do it, mind. I can see if I can have a look. Right, so here. Oh, also a button I found earlier, this little, there's a fun button here. I think that's a flash. Let's turn my phone off for now. So yeah, that is literally the end of my video. It's gonna be really short and sweet. Um, because yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I just wanted to show the fact I've got a new camera and show you the difference in the quality and hopefully that will really, you know, help my videos and make them a little bit better. So let me know if you've got this camera, if you've got any tips um, for a big absolute beginner. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching and I hope you did enjoy it and stay tuned for the next one which will hopefully be a bit better quality. Yeah, <laughs> see you. Bye.